Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, this afternoon, we'll be taking through the mathematics of full two, as you can see on the board. Uh, today, our chapter or our topic on discussion will be linear inequalities. Linear inequalities. Uh, this concept of mathematics is uh, chapter 7, 16 of the KB book of form two, mathematics. And uh, as we know that, Linear inequalities is very, very, very examinable. Why? Because you know, in our current syllabus of form mathematics, we have what you want to call linear programming. Then, a student who doesn't have the concept of linear inequalities in form two will not learn the concept of linear programming in form four. My dear brothers and sisters, make sure. You go with me. As I go through this chapter, I will also try my best uh, by actually getting questions from uh, my family, that is, past questions of KCC of mathematics based on this uh, chapter. Then I will also uh, try to give you a very hidden concept of mathematics of uh, form two, which is linear inequalities. Remember, we have what you normally call mathematics outside book. Guys, you know that this uh, inequality works with the inequality symbols. Let me give you the introduction, but we have what you normally call the inequality symbols. We have this one. And this matters a lot. Why? Because the moment we'll be grabbing inequalities, this will help us. So you must know what inequality symbols are. By the way, we have this one. We have this one. We have this one, which is greater. Which is greater. We have also this one, which is lesser. So if you don't get confused, this is greater and this is lesser. Just check. These are some of the inequality symbols in form to uh, linear inequalities. Then we have also this one, which is greater or equal to. Greater or equal to. That is when that value is inclusive. We'll be learning the concept. Don't worry about that. Greater or equal to. If you are told your age is greater or equal to 18, means your age cannot be less than 18. Look at that. This deeper meaning in this symbol. Your age is greater or equal. Meaning, your age can never be less than 18. Your age is 18 and above. So it's very important to understand. So the moment you're saying lesser or equal, lesser or equal, if you're told that age is lesser or equal to 17, that means your age can never be more than 17. You see, it can be 17 or what? Right below. Just understand. So, just understand these inequality symbols. They are very, very significant. Now, then we will go ahead and see how uh, we are going to uh, represent simple inequality on another line. Let's see that. Representation of simple inequality on another line. Representation of simple inequalities, simple inequality on a number. Let's see this one. How are you going to represent a given inequality on a number? And you know what a line like is? A straight line which has zero at the middle and on the right hand side it has a positive integers and on the left hand side it has a, a negative integers for information. That is for one concept of mathematics is. So now let's see examples from this one. Examples, sir. Let's see examples. You are told illustrate. Illustrate each of the following characters on a number. 
to the fluid. Inequalities on a lab line. On a lab line. And we have x is less than 7. x is less than 7. That means what? X is what? Is what's below or what's to the negative side uh, uh, of uh, uh, when you count when they say X is less than 7 means X is in the value which is less than 7 on the lab line in simple language X is in the value which is actually less than 7 so you are going to come up with the lab line this is the lab line it's very easy starting at the middle 0 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it will be. So this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Enough. Go to another negative number here. So I want to I want to present uh, I want to present this thing on the lamp and I want to show them. So they say that x is less than 7. So you are going to stand here, then draw an arrow on this side. So write x is less than 7. That's the because x is what's less than 7. So you will go to the uh, to the negative side of the lava line because uh, you will go to the left hand side of the lava line because you will start from 7 and move to this side to show that the value we are looking for or the possible value of x can be any number which is below 7. Just like that. Okay, what about this one? Let's see example 2 here. Let's see this one. We have uh, x is greater than negative 3. x is greater than negative 3. So we'll come up with a lambda line. Let's say this is our lambda line to be straight. This is 0, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6. Negative 1, negative 2. So that is negative 2. This is negative 3. Then this is negative 4. They are saying x is greater than negative 3. That means the value of x can be any number which is greater than negative 3. So we start here and show them that we are going to move this direction. Then show them it can be any value apart from negative 3. So we are going to say x is greater than negative 3 x is greater than uh, negative 3 that's what you're going to see there ok then uh, this is what I'm going to call uh, 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 representation of what? of a uh, uh, simple inequality on a line then let's go ahead and see let's go ahead and see how we're going to present how we show on a line when the inequality is common, common inequality. Let's see that. Let's see that, please. Let's come to this point. Then we will have this one common inequality. Common inequality. So that's when we'll have two simple inequalities joined together. We form a compound inequality. Compound inequality will be formed from joining two simple inequalities together. Let us see that. Uh, sometimes uh, you can be told, let's say example one. Let's say example one. You can be told that type into the three pairs of of simple statement of simple statements as a common as what? as a common statement <laughs> guys 
Let's see the first example. And then we have x is greater than 2 than comma. x is less than 5. These are two simple inequalities that are separated by the comma. Can you see now? We have x is greater than 2. We have comma, then we have x is less than what? 5. x is less than 5. So we want to join them together to make them what? Common inequalities. It is very easy. But remember, we have the order will be like this. We have a format order. This order we will have number, then simple, x simple, then number. Just as that. We will have a number, a symbol of inequality. Then x in the middle, simple again, then a number. So now, so far we are going to follow this order. Look here, we must have a number at the beginning. We must have what? A number at the beginning. So, but remember these two inequalities start with the letter. So what you do, reverse one of them. So let me take the first one. Solution to this problem. I have x is greater than 2. X is greater than what? 2. This is what I have. X is greater than 2. If we want to reverse this one, this can be written as well. 2 is less than X. Who's the reverse? X is greater than 2. So when you want to reverse, it will be 2 is less than the opposite of greater as well, less than. So I want to get this form. Just understand. So I will say, if I want to, let me join them, I will have two, you see, number simple, look at that, then x, when you see that, x is already there, so you cannot repeat, forget this one, write this simple again, simple, then number, so you have, you make them what, compound inequalities, you join them, so what is the condition here? When you have simple inequalities and you want to convert them, you want sorry, you want you want to combine them. What you do, reverse one of the inequalities. Because here, now when you look at this point, here we have x is greater than two. If I want to reverse this inequality, it will be two is less than x. So and I said this is the format. Don't forget, the two we must have number, a symbol of inequality followed by x. Then a symbol of inequality, then for a number. That's what you're going to do. It is very easy and you're coming like this. See? So, for me to get this thing, this kind of ring, then my inequality, when I make them a common inequality, when, when I make it a common inequality, it has to start with a number. Guys? So, here, I will reverse this one. Or this one, even you can reverse this one. But you cannot start with this one because you have this one. Reverse one is the first one. Nobody is going to be nice with that. Then, reversing x is greater than 2, it will be what? 2 is less than x. Then you join them. 2 is less than x. Then add these two. Simple and lambda. Then that's the Start. Let me give you one more example. B. Let me give you another one. I have x is greater or equal to 3. X is greater or equal to what? 3, comma. Then we have X is less than 6. So if I want to make these are two simple inequalities. If I want to combine them to form what you normally call a compound inequality, what I will do is reverse it. In the examination, you can say like this. Try this one first. X is greater or equal to 3, comma. Then X less than 6. So you can say, you can form them reversing the first inequality. Reversing the first inequality. Come on. Then you have, this is what you have. X is greater or equal to the, I want to reverse this one. It will be, the V is lesser or equal to what? Look at that. The V is lesser or equal to X. Then reverse it. Easy, by the way. To reverse means to do the opposite one. 
So we are going to say, join them now. We are going to say 3 is less than or equal to x. Take this 3. Then for doing this one, because you read that you have what? x. So write this one. So that is how we are going to combine two simple inequalities to get a common inequality for your information, guys. So in the examination, this thing is very important because you can be told, you can be given this one again. You can be told that, that this is a common inequality. You can be told to write it in a simple inequality. I will teach you in your next class. Get the advantage of this one for your information, guys. Then, uh, God willing, we will continue from there for your information. Uh, in our next class, uh, we will see then how to reverse this one. Otherwise, uh, I wish you the best. Please make sure you subscribe our YouTube channel. It's an academic channel, as I told you uh, during our structure of this program, guys. It and it's very helpful. By the way, to help you. Yes, it is very, very helpful. I need to help you, guys. Make sure you subscribe this uh, YouTube channel so that you take the advantage uh, uh, that it has.